you're a producer, you're working on a beat or a song, and you're laying down drum or melody patterns, and you want every single note to be perfectly on beat. What's the quickest way to do that? My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed cross follower, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly quantize your beats in machine inside of Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Hello fellow bedroom producers, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, I make videos that give advice to independent artists and producers. I make tutorial videos on Logic Pro 10. I break down my beat making and songwriting process, and also I do product reviews. So if any of that interests you, I need you to do me a really quick favor. Go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so that way you'll never miss when I make another video like this, and it'll help other people with similar interests as you see more videos like this. Got that out of the way? Bet. Let's get into the video. Before we get into the main topic of this video, I would like to say a quick thank you to Disho Kit for sponsoring this channel throughout the month of May. If you don't know who Disho Kit is, they are a music distribution service that allows you to upload an unlimited amount of music to all major music streaming platforms while maintaining 100% of your royalties for a low fee starting at $19.99 per year. Later on in this video, I'm going to highlight their Teams feature, which is one of my personal favorite features about them. If you don't know what that is, we'll get into that later in the video. So if you don't know what quantizing is in relation to beat making, basically whenever you quantize one of your tracks, you're correcting the time. If you play something that's off beat, you can quantize it to either make it perfectly on grid or maybe just slightly off the grid. This is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial. There aren't too many controls that you need to worry about. So now I'm going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to quickly quantize your beats in machine inside of Logic Pro 10. So now we are in Logic Pro 10. I pulled up Machine and also I opened up a drum kit from the Aquarius Earth expansion and all of the machine tracks are already routed in Logic. If you'd like to learn how I routed all of the machine pads to Logic, I made a video that walks you through exactly what I did. So you can either click that card in the corner of this video or you can go down in the description of this video to click on that link. And if you would like to download this template and have everything already set up for you, there's also a link to download this template completely completely for free in the description below. So depending on the type of music or the song that you're making, you may want to quantize your beat and make sure that everything is perfectly on beat. Maybe you only want to quantize a few specific instruments, or maybe you don't want any of it to be quantized at all. For the sake of this video and for simplicity, I'm not going to get into swing or groove or anything like that. For the sake of this video, we're only going to focus on quantizing. So the first thing that you should actually do is check some of the settings within your machine. So the first thing you should do is on your machine controller, click settings and then navigate to the page where that says quantize under quantize by default at least on my machine software by default it is on play slash record what that means is that if i play down a pattern right now is going to automatically quantize itself so as a matter of fact i will actually record a pattern So while I was recording that, I did play it a little offbeat, but with this setting, machine actually automatically quantized it. So now if you look in on all of the MIDI data, you'll see that it's perfectly on grid. So straight out the bat, if you're looking for the quickest way to quantize your beats, just make sure that it's actually quantizing while you're playing it. And then from there, if you're already satisfied with the pattern, there are no additional steps that you need to take. However, maybe you don't want to have your patterns quantized immediately after you record it. So what you'll have to do is go back to settings and under quantize and under mode, switch it to none. So I'll clear this pattern out. And now I'm going to purposely play it slightly off beat so that you can hear what's going on. So now if you zoom in on those notes again, you'll see that it's not on grid at all. So now there's a bit of swing to it, there's a bit of groove, and now it's not perfectly on beat. So I'll play it back so you can hear what it sounds like with and without the metronome. That's without. It's with. So right now, that may be a little sloppy. Maybe you don't want your drums to groove like that. Maybe you want everything to be perfectly on beat. So from here, it's really easy to quantize your beats. All you have to do is go to your machine controller, click shift, and click pad number five that will also have the word quantize next to it. And now everything is perfectly on beat. And I quantized everything to a 16th note. So now all of the hits quantize to the closest 16th note. So straight out the bat, here's what this would sound like.
So as you can hear right there, maybe there are a couple notes that actually didn't quantize to the exact interval that you wanted them to. So from here, you can also go down, click the notes and move them individually like this. The other thing that you can do is play around with the different intervals that you quantize the beat to. So if you go down here, you can go down and click on this note value. And then instead of quantizing it to a 16th note, you can quantize it to an eighth note or a quarter note. You even can go down and quantize it to different triplets. So actually, let me edit and undo this. So let's quantize this to an eighth note instead. So I'll change the note value to an eighth note and now I'll hit shift and pad number five on the machine controller. And now everything is quantized to an eighth note. So it's still not perfect with this snare note in particular, just because I played it really offbeat. So once again, what you can do is just drag it over and it will automatically stick to the grid with whatever note value that you select. So right now it's on eighth note. So no matter where I drag it over, it'll perfectly be divided in between eighth notes. Let's say I change this to a 32nd note. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see this better. So now wherever you drag this, it'll be perfectly on beat within a 32nd note. You also can do the same thing instead of using your mouse. You also can do the same thing by clicking the note, holding shift on the machine controller and hitting pad number eight. So now it automatically shifts over based on the 32nd note. Now I'll drag this back. My personal favorite feature about Distro Kid, other than being able to upload an unlimited amount of music to all major music streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, TikTok, and more for $19.99 per year is their Teams feature. If you collaborate on a song, whether it's just one artist and one producer, or maybe you have four songwriters in a band, everyone's probably going to want to be compensated. And DistroKid makes it really easy to make sure that everyone is fairly compensated for their work. As long as each collaborator is a member of DistroKid, by using their Teams feature, you can automatically split up the payments of the song to be sent to everyone who contributed to it. There aren't any additional fees. You don't have to keep up with each individual song and each individual collaborator. It's all done automatically as long as you add each collaborator to your team for that song. For example, if you're a producer working working with another artist and you decide to split your song 50-50, you can go straight into their Teams feature and divide the master royalties between you two 50-50. Or if for some reason the artist wants 73% and they only want to give you 27%, even though that's a really weird figure, you're able to split up the royalties like that. As long as they add up to 100%, you can divide the numbers pretty much any way that you want. I personally like using Teams whenever I'm featuring on another artist's song, or maybe another artist wants to use one of my beats, but they can't afford to pay for it at the time. Depending on who it is in our relationship, I may just let them use the beat for free, but then we agree on a way to split the song using DistroKid's Teams feature. So that way they're still able to use one of my beats and not have to pay for it up front, but then I'm also still able to be compensated. This feature alone makes it worth signing up with DistroKid. If you're not already a member, it only costs $19.99 per year to upload an unlimited amount of music through them. And also if you click my affiliate link, which is in the description of this video, that will allow you to get a 7% discount off of your first year with DistroKid. Just for full transparency, not only will you get that discount, but I will also receive a portion of that sale. And that of course will be reinvested back into this business. So that way I can continue putting out high quality videos and music, and of course, increase the quality over time. If you're someone, whether you're an artist, a producer, a songwriter, a manager, who wants to upload an unlimited amount of music to all major music streaming platforms, and if you frequently collaborate with other musicians, I highly recommend signing up with DistroKid. So now let's say you don't want to quantize every single instrument within this group, Maybe you want to quantize just one or two of them and leave just one of them unquantized. That's really easy to do as well. So now I'm going to drag the hits off grid again, just for the sake of this example. So now a lot of the hits are off grid again. Let's say right now, maybe the kick is sounding the way that you want it to, but you want all of the snare hits to be perfectly on beat. So all you have to do from here is go to the snare, just click on it, Go to keyboard mode by either clicking this button right here or clicking keyboard on your machine controller. Go over here to the grid, turn that on, and let's quantize this to a fourth note. So I'll change it to one over four. Now go on the machine controller again, hit shift, and hit pad number five. So now that quantized the snare drum perfectly where we would want it, and it did not affect the kick drum at all. So I'll go back to pad mode. Let's hear this now.
So as you can hear, the kick drum is still not perfectly on grid, exactly how we want it, but the snare drum itself is on grid. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. The only other thing that I can show you is really how to actually do that on the machine controller itself. So instead of controlling the different note values on the screen, if you want to quickly control it on the machine controller, hold shift, hit follow grid, go to step mode, and then you just click whichever note value you want it to quantize to. Right there on the machine controller, which is a bit quicker. So right now it's on a 16th note. You also could put it on a 32nd note. You could even just turn it off completely. And one more thing that I can teach you that I almost forgot to include is quantizing by 50%. So actually I'll drag all of the snare notes off by a little bit. So let's use the snare for this example. Let's say you don't want to have the snare play perfectly on beat, but you do want it to play a little closer to on the grid than it was before. So rather than holding shift and hitting pad five, which will make it quantize perfectly on beat. I'll undo that. So rather than having them play perfectly on grid, maybe I wanna maintain some of that groove and some of that swing. So I'll go back here, make sure that this is set to quantize. We'll keep it on the 16th note for right now. So I'll go back to the machine controller and I'll hold shift and hit pad number six. And as you can see now, it did move closer to on grid. It's not perfectly on beat, but it is a lot closer to the grid. So now it's still grooving a little bit, but it's not perfectly on beat. So let's hear what this sounds like. So what you should be hearing is that it's still slightly off beat which for the context of your song may be good but now it's not perfectly on beat it's only 50 percent quantized so that way maybe you you did play a few notes kind of sloppily or if you want it to swing but if you don't want it to be really off grid that's when you would use that control and actually there is one more thing so when you do export the midi data from machine first of all you click this button right here and then you drag it to the top channel after you export the MIDI data, from there you also want to make sure that Quantize is off in the machine plugin itself. What I personally like to do, since I actually do have it quantized while I record by default, I just make sure that the grid is off and then I change the note value to 1 over 128. So that way I know for sure that it's not quantizing. And then I open up a blank pattern and now it'll play exactly as I intended it to. Since now the MIDI data is playing in Logic, you also can go down inside of Logic and affect the notes as well. So if I want to quantize the kick drum in Logic, I just have to highlight all of the notes or whichever specific note I want to quantize, choose the note value, and then hit Q. And now it's quantized in Logic as well. That's one of the reasons why I like exporting the MIDI data from machine rather than the wave audio, just because while I'm making a beat and while I'm arranging it, if there's ever a change that I want to make after I already laid all my patterns down, and if I don't want to go back into machine and adjust it in there and then re-export it, I can just adjust it in Logic itself. Like I said, this is a really straightforward tutorial. There's not too much to discuss in terms of quantizing your beat. Just to walk through the steps again, the first thing you should do just straight off the bat is go into your settings and navigate to the quantize page. And then if you wanted to quantize while you're recording put it on play slash record and if you don't want it to quantize while you're playing just click none and after you lay a pattern down choose the interval that you want to quantize your pattern to then hit shift quantize and then that will allow you to quantize your beat right then and there and then the pattern will just move over to the closest grid line after you quantize it and then also from there you can just drag it over either by using your mouse or by highlighting the note or notes that you would like to adjust in this hitting shift and then pad number eight to nudge it over so it was still perfectly on grid. So now you just learned how to quickly quantize your beats with machine inside of Logic Pro 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you are interested with signing up with DistroKid, don't forget to click that affiliate link in the description of this video so you can get a 7% discount off of your first year with them. Also, if you found this video helpful and if you want to use the same machine template inside of Logic, I did make a tutorial video on how exactly I set it up and also you can download this template for free. Just look down in the description of this video to find that link to download this template for free. And don't forget to visit my website, lmarkeyproductions.com where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, 
my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know, do you like to quantize your beats? Do you not like to quantize them? Is there anything that I could have explained in better detail in this video? And what other tutorials would you like to see me make in the future? Let me know in the comment section below. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.